Jim Caldwell, Photo, Rick Osentoski slash Associated Press. No rancor necessary, no debate required. It's over, and in an honest moment on a reflective day, Jim Caldwell might even admit it. It's clear the Lions can bring Caldwell back as coach, and if they weren't sure before, they should be now, after playoff hopes were squashed in a miserable loss at Cincinnati. It's a harsh truth, and the harsher truth is, firing Caldwell isn't the full answer, merely the first one. Very soon, the pressure shifts squarely to GM Bob Quinn, who'll deal with the hangover shortly after the Lions, 8-7, close against Green Bay on New Year's Eve. We're about to find out if his Patriots pedigree truly is a difference maker, because this team needs more than just a new coach, it needs a bolder philosophy, a system that isn't all about winging and hoping with Matthew Stafford. In his second season here, this is Quinn's chance to officially implement his plan. It was worthwhile to retain Caldwell initially, and a playoff berth bought him another season and a modest one-year extension. Now owner Martha Ford and team president Rod Wood have to further trust the man they entrusted with the franchise's direction. I believe Quinn was fine keeping Caldwell for two seasons, whether Ford urged him to do so or not, but change is needed now. More, Rogers, Lions need to escape middle class, fire Jim Caldwell. Quinn has proven to be a solid talent acquirer so far drafting and free agent signing and the Lions have pockets of good players, especially in the secondary and at receiver. Rebuilding the trenches has been a problem, plagued by injuries, but there will be ample opportunity to break down the roster. For Quinn, it should start with a new coach, someone younger and more innovative. It could be a defensive-minded firebrand such as Patriots coordinator Matt Patricia, or a purported quarterback guru in Josh McDaniels. Caldwell did decent things in four seasons 35-28, two playoff appearances but the Lions are too soft, in manner and in method. Backfield void this is not hindsight, by the way. It remains one of the great mysteries to me that the Lions never went out and got a big running back to complement their smallish group. That's all on Quinn it remains an equally great mystery the coaches still game planned as if they could run the ball. The Lions are last in the league in rushing, incapable of gaining one or two tough yards when needed, usually around the goal line. The Lions rank in the lower half in key defensive categories too, including sacks. They mostly play hard under Caldwell but without sustained aggressiveness, except for his first season when they had one of the NFL's best defenses and went 11-5. That looked legitimate, right up until the crushing 24-20 playoff loss at Dallas, and since then, the Lions have been patching and scratching. More, Caldwell on not challenging call, that was the ruling. In the most important games this season home to Minnesota, at Baltimore, at Cincinnati the effort and concentration were dreary. On Sunday, it was as if the Lions figured they'd beat the Blah Bengals with minimal exertion.